What's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. We are back working on the Corvette build once again. No surprise there. Um, and this episode is going to be a little different. It's probably going to be a lot of detail stuff. I don't have a lot of huge structural things to change like we have been doing recently. Because um, we kind of have everything kind of how it's going to go, I think, for the most part. Um, I did add some jump drives here, as you may notice. I don't know if that's the best look or not, but at a glance, I think it looks fine. Um, it's kind of like they're mounted, holding each other together, I guess. Um, there's actually four rows of three, because they're those shield generators are three block um, length, I guess. So I was able to put three in front of each other, and then go four down and still not really mess with the lights or anything. Now, unfortunately, I kind of forgot to put a gravity generator anywhere. Um, I do have one up here, but as we've said before, that's kind of supposed to be the backup. So, not really sure how that's going to go. Um, in terms of if where, where like the main one should go. Um, of course, we could always put one under the, you know, floor because we have like a three block high space there now from where the heavy armor doesn't meet. I kind of wanted to put it somewhere in here, but I'm just not sure where it should go, especially with all those jump drives. And I don't really want to put it in here because this just came out so cool looking. You know, the reactor ended up looking really awesome. Um... What? <laughs> Do I have just random lights falling off of the ceiling now? I got it. I'll probably end up doing a, a whole episode on redoing lighting because all the lighting's all screwed up now. I've done too many structural changes, um, particularly with like stuff in here and different places like in here where I move the whole wall and stuff like that, um, or just places I've never just done anything yet. That, that's also one that puts a damper on things. I am curious if I could get away with... Oh, I can! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Now that is fascinating. Collision boxes are a weird, weird animal. Uh, let's see. Is this because of the way it's oriented or because of... I think it's because of the... Oh, nope. It's how it's oriented. I'll be darned. So I could actually do something like this. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. And highly unexpected. But so yeah, for now we do have a jump drive here. Uh, not a jump drive, a um, gravity generator. Though I do think I'm going to move it. Okay, so there we go. We got it right there. Uh, let's get rid of you. Now... One interesting thing is I've got one somewhere that I can't find, apparently, <laughs> because we still have 1G of artificial gravity, and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, no, 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 it's the one on the outside of the ship, never mind. That was probably the temporary one that I had before. Alright, so what I'm thinking about doing with this, why does it look so weird? This doesn't look bad, but this way and stuff, it kind of looks scrunched. Eh, whatever. Um, I'm thinking of putting two? Can I get away with two? And then putting the gravity generator, like, on top of it, maybe. I think will work nicely. Um, and now for the glass. Let's cover this back up. Was it this one? No. Do I not have one equipped? I may not anymore. I might have gotten rid of it. <sighs> three by three, I think? I can't remember if it was inverted or not. No, two by three. Don't mind me. Two by three. There it is. Nope. You're backwards. Okay. Nope. 
crap. I don't know what all that does. I'm still I'm still figuring out some things because mainly they'll do updates and things and then I I haven't actually been playing in survival or whatever, so I don't know how any of them work. Alright, so there's our backups. I think that pretty much covers anything. We got a shield generator, reactor, batteries, jump drives, and gravity generators, so that should work. And I do like that it's on the opposite side, so if you're getting broadsided from just the right side and you lose all that, you'll still have all that. So I kind of like that idea. Still not really sure where I want to put the... Ooh, they're blue now. Um, I guess I could put the gravity generator right up there, but it still blocks the lights, which isn't as fun. Uh, but, well, I kind of... And I've had a couple of people like with the jump drives that mention, well, you could put them uh, like in the hollow of the ship and stuff, but I really didn't want to do that. I kind of like the idea of all your primary stuff being visible. Not really because there's any direct maintenance thing where, oh, that got destroyed and I need to access it. It's just kind of a visual appeal thing that just seemed like it would be a cool thing to do. And I can put it... Well, technically I can put it there, but then I'd have to really rewire the, um, the gravity stuff. Let's see if we can get it... So I can put one here. Which I guess that's fine. I mean, you can't really see it unless you look. It won't be visible from the outside exactly. But, eh. You know, whatever. I'm strangely comfortable with it. Come on. There you go. Alright, and glass. Where? Oh, where? Where thou? I really don't remember. Nope. I always get wrong whatever window I'm supposed to be using. I don't know why, but I do it every time. Whatever I think it is, it's always the opposite. I should just start grabbing the opposite one. Alright, so we have our primary gravity squared away. We have our backup gravity squared away. Uh, one thing I do need to resolve is the airlock. And I've actually been told a couple of different ways we can do that. But I think... I'm not 100% sure, but I think I have one that'll... I think I've picked kind of the one that I like the most. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that so I can get back up in here. But yeah, there's there's a lot of room in here that was what people were referring to. Like, you know, you could put jump drives or whatever down here. Eh, 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 it's, you know, technically, yes, that's true. But I just didn't really want to. Uh, nor do I really want to leave this vent out here either. I'm kind of thinking that vent's going to go somewhere else. I mean, I guess it's not really in a terrible spot or anything. It could stay there. But it's just kind of like a meh. Oh, and I never wired in another chain gun over there, did I? I don't think I did. Tell you what, everything else should be fine. Yeah, okay. So, let's grab... Let me get rid of some of this glass. Um, this one. And we're just going to put one right in here. I don't remember how I did this one. Let's... Sure. Like that. And since I have a hole down here that leads as an access point to this stuff, it shouldn't be too difficult to wire this up. Um... I don't know how I did it over there, to be honest. I think I came off of this. I don't know if I want to break that. Ah, screw it. Okay, it didn't break anything. I wasn't sure. I th wasn't sure if it would make it float away kind of deal. Uh, but then I did remember that it's technically stuck to this wall. It's just not going to connect to the conveyor system without conveyor tubes. So. That should work, and it shouldn't interfere with our oxygen 
stuff either. Ooh, they added... That's a new sound. Pretty sure that's a new sound. Alright, cool. That all still works. Um, still not quite done with in here, I don't think, for testing with um, the EM thrusters and the gyroscopes. As it's been pointed out multiple times before, I have not tested this ship on planets. Um, so I really don't know how it's going to hold up in planetary atmospheres. But uh, my idea, my thought process was essentially why test it on something and then add more to it. So that will, like, this area with the thrusters, the gyroscopes, all that stuff will probably be the last thing that I do on this build to actually sign off on it. I will more than likely end up doing everything else and then testing it on a planet and making final calibration type things in that regard. But I'm liking this layout though, this is working for me. I think that, that works out pretty good. I'm not as thrilled with this one over here, but it's not terrible. I mean, it works. And there's still a lot to be done in here. Not, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but there's still some, quite a bit of decorative stuff that needs to be done. S panels, screens, a, probably a better cockpit. I don't think I'm going to actually just use a chair. I don't know. I haven't really decided. Let me know what you guys think about all that as far as what should be used for a bridge type of thing. And then, of course, we got lighting and blah, 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 blah. Um, what did I come up here for? I came up here for something. Oh, for the floor here. Because this is probably the easiest way to access. There we go. Okay, so... You are the conveyor, I believe. I think that's the conveyor because the other block is going to be flush. Whoops. Well, <laughs> mystery solved. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here is a suggestion I honestly had not thought about, but it makes a lot of sense. Uh, and that is to put separate, um, non-tethered oxygen tanks to the conveyor attached to the airlock vent. And most of you probably know why, some of you may not quite get what makes that important. And it was kind of like I mentioned before about creative mode. The only difference is it'll happen to you in survival as well. I wasn't sure it would, but it's basically been confirmed through comments and stuff that it does. Um, and that's essentially that if I open this up, now there's going to end up being air in there. Well, once I actually have the airlocks like running, I don't think anything's working right at the moment. But... It should be venting into here. Whoops. Um, hello. Hello. This is one area where collision boxes get really annoying. Because it's like I can't click on the very visible and open area. Because it's technically looking at the door. Which is aggravating. Alright, was that the block in question? Yeah, because now it connects all the textures. All right, so we should be good. So, short version is when you've got the airlock in here tied to the actual air system uh, that generates oxygen, like in here or connected. Like these, okay, so these are connected to the same oxygen generator, or the uh, same system, the same conveyor system that the oxygen generators are connected to. Now, I do have backup, like, ice generators. Um, I have one, actually, I believe. But it's primarily going to be using the um, the ones that I just showed a minute ago that eject out the side, or extend, I should say. Not eject. That would be pretty unuseful. Um, so 
basically it's if you have that connected to the system they're just constantly generating oxygen and it's going to fill up all of the tanks and then when you tell it to depressurize what a lot of people don't realize and i've known this for a little bit but i didn't quite know it affected survival the same way as creative creative is just always active instead of like um actually having to generate it from ice or something like that but the system of depressurizing is the vent works in reverse and it pulls the air um out of the room and then back into the connected tanks that are wired up through the conveyor system so essentially it would come back over to here and what will happen is you'll set this to depressurize but if the if the place is full of air and you're all healthy well and well and good but the generators are still filling up the tanks then when you set it to depressurize nothing happens because it doesn't have anywhere to put it it can't vent it out of the ship and so it just tries to put it back in the already full tanks and it won't go anywhere um, this, on the other hand, is basically two separate tanks that are not connected by a conveyor system, so they will be able to, ex you know, kick out air and then pull back in there. Now, the only thing is, I do think over time, this may end up kind of backfiring anyway, because if you leave this door open, then the rest of the vent systems that are pumping out air are just going to fill this room up too, and then the next time you depressurize, you're adding to what's already there uh so there's there is that it, like i think eventually that could still cause a problem i'm not sure how to perfectly fix that unless you connected up the tank had it go for a little bit enough to fill up this room and then turned it off and then just never left this door open you know but it, it more than likely it'll end up being a problem eventually anyway um but for now, it'll work out okay because you're going to let air into this room. Then when you set it to depressurize, it'll pull it into that tank, shut the door, or shut the door, pull it into that tank. You'll leave. You come out. I guess it won't because if you leave it with air in it and then you shut the door, it becomes its own bubble. This pulls it in there. This stays shut. You go out. When you come back in, this is still shut before this vent's the air so the tanks will be then empty again and when you open this up then the rest of it won't fill that room up because it'll already have air i guess that works i guess that makes sense because either way it gets rid of its air before it fills up from the main system and then the door shuts before it extracts so i guess you're always pulling the same amount so that's fine <clears throat> now that i'm you know spent like half an episode battling about air eh, you know space games are the only games where you can babble on... Space games and underwater games are the only games you can babble on about air. And it's important and not actually just random. So, with that said, we're doing pretty good. Um, I am still concerned we don't have a respawn set up. Because I think... Not 100% positive, but I think it was told to me... That Cryo... I don't think think can be used as a respawn point. It has to be a medical bay, I think. Um, not entirely. What happens if I assign this to me? Ownership assignment, assign player to faction. Still doesn't let me do anything with that. Uh, so, I, for those of you that may not be aware, I read in the mod description that specific med bay does not allow respawning. So anyone who's like, well, it probably will... No, it, it does not it actually explicitly states that it won't respawn so there is that i'm wondering if there's a mod out there that i can do just a little cube block or something it'll just be a respawn point it would be kind of nice and i don't know why these are all red that's something that's curious to me i wonder if one of my scripts went wrong and it's still trying to like depressurize off Oh, that's vent. Crap. No, I want that one. So all of these... They're set to on... Well, that one's... Oh, maybe it's the faction thing. Set them all to be owned by me. See if that does anything. Because they're all red. And that's weird. What happens if I turn them all on and off again? Maybe that'll jog something. Nope. Hmm... Oh, wait. 
Is it because... Wait, no. I was thinking it might be because of the, the place isn't airtight, but it should be. Because even though I have those holes in the ship, they're in the in-between layers. They're not really... Huh. That's odd. I wonder what that's about. Alright. So let's tell you what. The, mo the least far along is the, uh, well, maybe I should work on the drone bay. Now let's go for, up for the bridge. Let's go for the bridge. That's been bothering me a little bit. Um, some of this stuff, there's room for improvement and detail, like, you know, some kind of screens or something. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe an emblem screen or something right there. I gotta figure out how to make my own emblems and stuff, but let me check. There was actually another mod I wanted to look at, too, and make sure it was for small ships. Ah, there it is. Transparent display. Is that the only size? Transformer. Yes. Oh, wait, no. That's available for small ships. Okay. Uh, apparently these are... Those two are not. Transporter pad single. Transformer. I don't know how this works. I saw it on the, the workshop and thought, ooh, basically. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much how that went. It was like, ooh, that's cool. Let's download that one. Oh, if only you could cut corners, literally. That would be so cool. That would look so cool to have it embedded like that. Well, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe. No, it it still won't be doable. Because I was thi well, it might be without a transparent one. Ooh, hold on. LCD panel, are you the same? Ah, but you're pointed the wrong way. Phooey. Phooey fiddlesticks. Um, about clear medium, lower center. Oh, that's all the. Uh, that's. Wait, is that a? Is that the Spectre one? No, those are the Spectre one. What are these then? Top center. Hmm. What are you? Lower left side. I think they are still related to the Spectre cockpit. Yeah, there's yeah, okay. There were those were the optional ones. That's right. Um panel. I'm trying to see if there were any other available ones besides the typical L C D ones. Okay, we've got a wide that looks to be about it for the standard. What about a text panel? Okay, those are something else too. Right? What are you guys? So I could do the. Ooh, 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 ooh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait! What about these sloped ones? Are there any corners? No, they just did the. Poo! They just did the angle ones. They didn't do the corners. Darn! I was hoping they would do corner ones. Hmm. Well, fooey. Because I like this transparent one, but if you place it, hold on a minute, if I place it here, where's the screen? I don't know which way is which on these. I'm guessing where that, where that is, maybe? Because that would probably be the access panel. Yeah, okay. So it's supposed to be on the back edge of the block. I really wanted to do something like that. That would have been awesome. But I'll have to... If I did that, I would have to take out these corners. Which I don't think would have the same effect. I mean, that's kind of cool. But I would have liked it if it had turned it into like an octagon type thing. We'll leave it there for now. Um, if I did just a standard LCD, are they the same size? Oh wait, there's plus and minus too. Panel wide. 
standard. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave that one there because I don't know if having a transparent one is really valuable of anything exactly. But I did think that was a cool idea to have a transparent one. So I had that mod added to my arsenal. Okay. Now, what to do with this hunk of junk? I'll probably do a left side, right side comparison like I typically try and do and see what we can, can come up with. Now, uh, we know where there are heavy blocks, those have to stay heavy blocks because they're like exposed to the outside type thing. Uh, so that doesn't give us much of a margin for error. There is a lot of weird shapes in here, though, that makes it really tough. To Actually, I was already doing a left-right, wasn't I? <laughs> um, there's a lot of strange shapes in here that make it tough to work with. I'm going to pause it, I think, for a minute, because we are kind of low on time, and tinker around a little bit with it and see what I can come up with. Okay, so I think we have a pretty good structure here going on. I did actually end up going with this one for now, unless I come up with a different uh, seating arrangement. I did have a few ideas, but before I go into that, let me go over uh, the changes that we made. So I changed a lot of this, actually, um, to fit a little bit better. This still looks a bit messy to me, but I just can't feel confident in cleaning it up any further. It just kind of seems to be the way the structure is. I just can't seem to find other better ways of doing it. So there's that. Um, we might also want to do like a co-pilot seat here, maybe not a central pilot, I don't know. Um, I, I have kind of built this off of me playing uh, survival eventually, so I'm not really worried about having more than one seat, but just for the fact of like, hey, this is the main bridge area for the pilot and all that kind of stuff, we may want to do that. Um, but, uh, did a couple of things. For one, we closed this uh, loop here, which I had a hard time doing, and it's basically because I realized these solar panels aren't windows, and they seem to work either way, so I put them like this on the outside of these uh, slope blocks, and then the rest of them are flipped inward like this, where you can see the collision boxes, um, but if I were to get rid of these, oh, let me see if I can pull it off. I think I can do it without breaking anything. Famous last words. I saw this in a cartoon once, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. So if I break this and then I break this block, you'll notice the solar panel still stays because its collision block is out there where the one next to it is in here. So they're flipped, but because they're solar panels, they seem to be working the same way. I even checked and they are still producing um, power. So that apparently is a thing though it does seem like placing a block with one there is an issue. Okay, that's interesting. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, well, that'll probably be a good example of how I did this then, because I'll actually have to go out and, do, and put another one in. But that allowed me to kind of close off that shape, which I'm much happier with. Um, now, there are a few little things that I could do but I don't see a good way to do them. Like, I could do something like that to seal it off, but then there's no good way to close off both edges. So I probably shouldn't kind of keep tinkering with things that probably don't have a better solution. And I threw some screen slopes in here just because I didn't really know what else to do for screens, but I'm sure I will want... Uh, a lot of information. I don't know that I'll need that many or not, but we can throw up dummy information or textures or something to make it look complicated if we want to. Uh, there's still some detail work I could do uh, with different, you know, blocks for screens or LCD panels. Um, not like that, but like the single screens you could do, you know, kind of a, a wall of them and have different things, but again, it's kind of one of those, do we really need it, or is it just fluff for detail? I did change this around a little bit. I brought it a little further forward um, and changed to where there's not quite so many shapes going on just to kind of mesh, but I can't really do too much more with it or else I risk losing my access point with my ladder here. So that's not going to work very 
well if I do that. So I think, I'm pretty sure anyway, that's probably going to be the most I can probably do. I don't know if I'm going to leave that here or not. I really probably, what I should do is do something like this and then have like a single screen or something there with just a logo or a texture or something just for something a little different probably but we do have our gravity generator now both in place we do have our jump drives in place I'm trying to think of different things and the cockpit I think overall it came out nice I'm happy with it other than some detail work that still needs to be done I still need to probably resolve the respawn situation and figure out how we're gonna do that and I'm thinking, this is just me, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if there's things that we should work on and other things like that. I think the next episode, um, I'm thinking in the next episode we'll probably work on A, the drone bay, and B, the drone itself. What is that? Oh, that's the landing gear. <laughs> I was like, what is that? So I'm thinking the next episode will probably be the drone bay and the drone itself um, in tandem at the same time. And beyond that, I hesitate to say we're close to being done, but I'm pretty sure we are. Because I usually, every time I say that, I think of something else that needs doing before I can wrap it up. But um, So here's what I was talking about before. All of these are placed this way, but if you flip this around then it still places it still sticks out a little bit of the block which is why it won't let you place a block once the solar panel's down but I think overall it works out pretty good and I did like I said I did double check it is making power so it's not like it's not doing anything um, but yeah I'm thinking we do have um, I don't think I have space for weapons like this down at the bottom I thought about putting guns on the bottom, but I'm really not sure that I want to do that because if I do, I need them to be retractable. That's the only way because I want to keep, I've done a really good job of keeping the whole bottom flush when it's flying so that there's no, um, no nothing, no nonsense uh, going on to get clipped off the bottom or anything like that it would it makes it look a bit sleeker so I don't want to mess that up by having guns protruding out the bottom so what I may do here's an idea I thought about doing stuff on the sides here but what I might do is on the bottom I might have retractable rocket launchers and chain guns that can be attached through pistons and raised or I mean lowered rather not raised but lowered down a couple of blocks like maybe a two block clearance and then they can fire so you could have turreted weapons on the top and fixed weapons on the bottom kind of thing is what I'm kind of thinking that might be an interesting idea so next episode tell you what here's here's my game plan next episode we'll go with weapons we'll go with bottom weapons we'll see if we can make some retractable fixed weapons to go with uh, the the turreted ones on top after I'm assuming that'll take me a good episode though uh, if, if I work faster, that's fine. Uh, or if I work on it in my off time or something and I just cut back, hey, here's what I come up with, that's fine too. Uh, the next thing will probably be the drone and the hangar that it goes in. That, after that, I think the structure is pretty much done. So after the weapons and the drone and its hangar are complete, I think the, we'll be moving into the last stage, which is detail. I think structurally everything will kind of be where it's going to be. Um, so I'm th thinking that then it will be an episode dedicated to ventilation stuff and lighting. Maybe. And then one, probably a final one for wrap-up detail, like like we talked about LCD screens with textures, signs, whatever. Uh, just minor little details that we can come up with, which I'm open to suggestions for. If you come up with little, hey, this would be a cool little detail to throw in there, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know um, what you're thinking for details and all that kind of stuff. I'm totally open to that kind of thing. Um, and then after that, I know the last episode, 
where it's like, I can't think of anything else to do to the ship, I'm pretty sure it's done, will be planetary testing, gyroscopes, and thruster um, stuff to make sure that everything is running properly, and in doing so, we'll need to turn off, like, our backup stuff so that none of that's draining power, using power, giving us extra power so we can really get a read for how it works. So the last episode is going to be atmosphere t testing, thruster and gyroscope strength testing, and then backup and main power supply testing to make sure everything runs on... Uh, the main, and then to see what would overload it on the backups is kind of what I'm thinking. So that's what I'm going with for a schedule. So that would be one, two, three, let's say five, probably five more episodes, give or take, would be a good um, plan. I don't know what episode number I'm on. I'm not really paying attention to it at the moment, so I can't say how poetic that'll end up being. Uh, this right here, before I wrap things up, I did have a couple more options, and that was doing one of these, because I would have enough room. Actually, I can get rid of this seat right now. So I would have enough room. Actually, I can. Uh, I found out I can actually put this on the rotor, to be honest, which I thought was kind of hilarious, because then it would be like, ah, oh, the rotor, the, the, the desk thing can turn. But... If I did that, I wouldn't want these screens here because it doesn't really do anything. I mean, once you get in the seat... Oops, what the... Oh, okay. Uh, there. So once you get in the seat... Granted, that's a cool HUD. I like it. But, you know, it's it's not... You can't really make use of it. So that's not really probably likely. Uh, the other ones wouldn't be on a rotor system, but these freestanding cockpits I thought were kind of interesting for like a... Uh, Death Star, or not Death Star, a Star Destroyer like bridge. You know, you could have the the standing seats to where you could have like one guy standing over here as one one pilot and so on and so forth. Um, but ultimately, I kind of like the the rotatable seat thing. That's I've been kind of spoiled with some of uh, Tartarus and some of those other builders that make small ships and then they make these rotatable ones with the screens that fold down, which I didn't end up doing. I never got around to making, maybe we'll work on that as a detail of having a, some kind of screen that rotates out, but with all these screens I cannot think of anything that would be useful to have more screens folding out other than it just being cool. Uh, nor do I know where they'd fold into, but... So yeah, uh, I think that'll probably be my best option for the moment. I might do a co-pilot seat, though, just for kind of the sake of making it a cool ship type thing. But lighting actually isn't too bad in this room, now that I'm looking at it. We might just leave the lighting the way that it is. I don't know if I need this big one or not. Like, without it, that's not bad. I mean, the lighting still looks kind of fine. It's not shining right down on the seat like it was before, but we could probably get away with that and not really maybe do some decorative stuff up on the ceiling. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments. In the meantime, we're going to wrap things up for today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.